hi guys so in this video we will see how to set up booster team for your shopify store so let's begin first you'll see how your website looks with the uh, booster theme initial installation so that's how your page looks now what we will do is we will customize the theme according to our vision and we will keep only those sections that we need to show on the home page so let's begin so what you will do is you will click on customize now you see all those sections are here and these sections are controlled from the left panel for instance the slideshow can be disabled the text underneath can be disabled this section can be disabled and pretty much at everything on this page we can disable or enable so uh, what we will do is we will keep only few sections that we want to show i'll keep it pretty neat, neat and clean so we will have very few sections on the home page so um, in most of the websites you would notice uh, that there is only a single banner that is a static banner not a slideshow you can also have that you need to remove this second slide for that okay so you can also take off this text if you want or keep it accordingly and remember to hit save after any change that you do because then only it will reflect in the front end okay you see we have disabled other sections and now we have this as our front end view now you see these sections are very close to each other uh, so what we can do is we will add divider now this divider shows you a line right you can take off this line by selecting space you can add more dividers and then you can drag this divider we want to show it you can open this to space and same divider can be added here so now you see uh, the page looks more cleaner with more spaces and you hit save now i will tell you on the css part in a while but before that let's move on to header so the header section has your menu uh, your logo and this card part and this search bar right let's uh, add the logo here let's add this as a logo for now okay so you can always increase the logo size you can select 
Kim Walong as well. You can change this, these sections above. And you had saved. Now, uh, most of you would not want to see this black uh, bar. So what you can do is you can change this to white okay. and other text color you can choose black so, so you have a neat and clean look the color combination you can choose from here like if you want some other color maybe blue color so you can have Google selected here and hit save. So once it gets loaded, uh, you'll see the blue car. Okay, cool. Now, what we will do is we will style this page a bit. Now, let's go to slideshow mid slide let's select this one right here so we have this clean looking banner here right so now what i want is i want to add products to the best sellers so i have a category at the back end You'll see this. Uh, these uh, collections are there, best sellers, and I have like three to four dummy products. I have assigned this best seller category to these products. So now we will open this best sellers. We'll change this to best sellers, and you see those products are here. Now you hit save. And you can also change the testimonial text from here. You can even add an image here. Let's add this as the image for now. Okay. So now hit save. Now uh, we will see this section has a very dull background, but you would want to change this, right? You will obviously first go here and see if there are any options to change the background of it. If you don't find it here, you will go to this section right here. But what if you don't find any settings for to change the background? Then what you will do is you go back to the online store. You click on actions. You click on edit code. Now you will go to the assets. Add a new asset, create a bag file, custom, dot CSS dot liquid add asset. Now you see the file was saved successful. Now you'll open this. Now you would also want your custom file to be included in the theme file. I will really open this and you will have this here. It's safe. 
and you go back to your front end refresh your page view page source and find content file you see the file is here you click on it you won't see anything because we haven't added anything yet but we will be doing it now so let's have a background for this let's remove the this dot and this dot as well because we only have one slide and we only have three testimonials to show at the time so let's select this section and you will see you you need to add a new style rule the background to be black or uh, you can change the background color to something maybe this color then you will copy this you will go back to custom.css paste it here then you would want to hide this dot on these dots these more dots have a uh, same class it says Display now, so you will see this is gone, this is gone, but you need to paste it in your custom.css and hit save. Now you will see that all your changes have reflected here. So now this is the new look of your page with the booster theme now let's talk about product page so this is how your product page is looking and this has the title the pricing the percentage of the stock left it's not actually the actual stock left but this is to show the urgency among the users uh, about the product like you see uh, here it's, it's like these many people are currently looking at this product so it it kind of show uh, the popularity of this product and it creates security among the customers to go for this product right and i personally like this uh, image right here that says safe checkout so that the customers are satisfied and uh, they have a trust that their checkout is gonna be uh, a safe checkout and these related products because all of these have this similar uh, collection assigned to them and then you see this footer section which can be controlled from here so you can pretty much make the changes here you can change the text here you can change the menu here it's and it's here now what if you want to customize your product page then you need to open the product page in the customize section under sections you will see product page and pretty much everything you can control from the left side for example you don't want this shaking effect in the add to cart button so you can disable that by deselecting it you can remove other portion like progress bar enable stock message etc but I would prefer to keep them as it is. 
so these are the settings here right now remember to enter your license key here that you get from the booster team it's under the team settings license key enter whatever it is and then hit save right now you can always have a custom mail chip from URL or Clavio. You can choose a fab icon here. Let's choose the same, but it's recommended to use a 32 by 32 pixels. Right, fab icons would show here in your at this bar right here let's go back to see a few more things like if you are creating a new page for example, you're creating an about page. This is about page. And you're creating a, another page. Maybe say FAQ. FAQ sometimes. Now you will go back navigation main menu and you would want to add these new pages so you can click on link pages about at again add menu item pages FAQ hit save Go back to your page front page and you will see these sections are here you can always add some items on your footer menu like the privacy page terms and conditions page and that would reflect here if you have selected footer menu for this right so this is there so it's quite easy to customize your booster theme and you can have a proper looking front end and you can customize your page Sorry. so this is uh, the shop pages where you will see all your products and you can always sort these products uh, for instance you want to see low to high pricing so it's, it's shown here from high to low like this so uh, this theme is pretty much useful and it has all the tools needed uh, to show the customer uh, to engage the customers uh, to buy more products from your website so i hope this video was useful good luck thanks